Next, Fallon shaves his beard. He intentionally cuts himself with a razor and gives it to young Amsterdam Fallon. Priest instructs the young boy to blood stays on the blade. He prays with the boy, and they head out of the maze-like cave. Several people prepare for battle and follow the crowd as it increases. They arrive at the entrance after going through the maze-like building, and Priest meets Walter Muck McGinn, who refuses to participate in the upcoming battle. For the last time, Valor, I wish if the money is right. Priest offers Monk a nice reward if he joins their group, called the Dead Rabbits, and Monk agrees. Monk kicks the door open, and the warriors walk to an open space called the Five Points. Bill the Butcher Cutting emerges with several men who call themselves the Natives. He insults Priest for his small army. A few is and a handful of but several gangs emerge inside with the dead rabbits. Bill challenges Priest and his men to war. Settle for good and all! And they accept his challenge. A battle ensues over the right of ownership of the five points. The dead rabbits dominate as they take down several natives. Bill observes Priest from a distance and takes down opponents while moving to him. He lands a fatal strike on Priest, and Priest falls to the ground. Bill gloats over Priest, and the battle comes to an end. Valen runs to his father and holds him as Bill takes his life. He instructs the men not to touch Priest as a form of respect. Monk goes to Priest's body and takes an item as payment. Bill instructs the men to ensure Valen receives a good education, but he refuses and runs away. He hides a blade underground, but the men capture him. Bill outlaws the dead rabbits and orders their name never to be mentioned. Sixteen years pass, and it's 1862. Valen is given a Bible while being released from prison. He throws the Bible into a river as he walks away. Meanwhile, people celebrate the end of slavery in New York. But Bill and his men are furious. He throws a dagger at a picture of Abraham Lincoln because of his new law. Valen returns to New York. Welcome to America, son. But is treated as an Irish man. Several Irish people migrate into the city and are treated inhumanly. Bill goes to Boss Tweed's office, and they discuss the immigrants entering the country. Tweed proposes an alliance between them to make more profits. Valen returns to the cave. He left the dagger and retrieves it. Johnny and Jimmy emerge and interrogate Valen. He says he doesn't want to fight. Now look, look boys, I really don't want to fight. But Jimmy moves to him. Valen defeats them and rushes out of the tunnels. Johnny follows him as he recognizes his medallion and says they met when they were kids. Valen smiles as he says he was in prison the whole time. They just locked me up, you know that? They move through the town as Johnny tells him about the gangs functioning in the city. He says the dead rabbits have been outlawed and no one is allowed to mention their name. Jenny Everdeen bumps into Johnny and tells him to look where he is going. She walks away, and Valen informs Johnny that she stole his timepiece. A fire engulfs a building that night, and two rival firefighter gangs emerge. They begin fighting each other instead of putting out the fire. Johnny and Valen sneak into the burning building to steal valuable items and to get food. Johnny gets trapped while trying to get an item, and Valen is forced to abandon his loot and save him. Bill watches what happens and smiles as he sits on a chair. The duo goes to a building run by Shang, and Valen gets into an argument after insulting Shang. Happy Jack enters the building, and Valen remembers him from when he was little. He takes some of the gathered loot as his cut and leaves the building. Valen goes to the Asians, who hate Bill and his men, and plots to end him on the day they celebrate his father's death. He goes to a circus where Johnny attempts to meet Bill. McGloin stops Johnny. Are you? But Bill lets him pass. Johnny gives Bill some money, and Bill informs him of a Portuguese ship they will raid. He instructs Valen to never emerge in his presence without an offering. Don't you never come in here empty-handed again. The duo and their crew go to the ship, but see that some people have taken the crew members' lives. Valen gets an idea and sells a deceased man to the ghoul gang. They take the money to Bill, and McGloin insults Valen for making a heinous decision. Valen gets angry and brawls against McGloin. 
People around them place bets on who will win, and the fight begins. McGloin lands several strikes on Fallon, but loses the fight as Fallon suffocates him. Bill's men separate the fight, and he gives Fallon a piece of meat. They walk through the town, and Bill talks about how he stands up to the rising tides. Now everything you see belongs to me. Several military officers arrive and advertise the draft into the army. Everyone talks about the draft, but no one expects it to reach New York. Valen sees Jenny on the street and instructs her not to bump into him. Don't you run into me. She does so against his instruction, and he realizes she stole his medallion as she leaves. He follows her onto a bus and watches as she steals from a man who comments on her appearance. Jenny is a professional thief and often disguises as a maid to steal from fancy homes. Fallon catches her as she exits, and she threatens to take his life. He calls her bluff, which is a very risky move, and takes the blade from her. He retrieves his medallion from her, and they walk together for a while. She says she has a special deal with Bill, so she doesn't pay him for the money she makes. The butcher and me have a special arrangement. Happy Jack takes Shermerhorn around the slums and guarantees their safety. They come across Bill and his men, and Bill already knows who they are. He assures them that they will be safe in the town, and they continue moving. Bill and Valen walk past Monk, who moves Valen's hat to see his face properly. Valen gets annoyed and pushes him away as he remembers who Monk is. Later, Bill teaches Valen how to attack an enemy using a hanging pig, and Valen follows his lead. They go to Tweed's office, and Johnny tells Valen he doesn't want to be a part of any of his negative plans for Bill. Tweed tells Bill about the crimes in the town and says they need to blame someone. They decide to hang four random men as the perpetrators of the crime and gather the men by the docks. Bill talks to the men as they walk to the stage, and he buys one of their medallions. Jenny sees Valen as she moves through the crowd. The men are hanged, and the people celebrate their demise. Fallon and Johnny attend the annual mission dance, and Jenny is selected as a queen. She is instructed to select a partner for the dance, and she rejects Johnny. Fallon appears next and tries to move away, but she selects him as her partner. A queen has chosen. They enjoy the dance and kiss in a secluded area when everyone leaves. Fallon sees Jenny's scars and feels bad for her. And he suddenly sees Bill's medallion on her neck. He realizes she has business with him and pushes her away. Time passes and Fallon becomes Bill's worker. He officiates a boxing match, but the police intervene and stop them. Fallon suggests a solution and moves the boxing match to the docks because it isn't allowed in the city. The ring announcer praises Bill for the fight. It's the William Kennedy! And Bill instructs him to praise Fallon. Bill and Tweed watch as more immigrants enter the country. Fallon calls them intruders, and Tweed says he will die fighting. The immigrants become citizens and are immediately conscripted into the army. They enter large ships while coffins are offloaded. Bill and his gang go to watch a play, and it ends with people throwing fruits at the actors. A man suddenly emerges and attempts to shoot him. Valen tries to save him. The bullet hits Bill's shoulder, and Valen tackles the man. He shoots him as he retrieves the gun, and Bill moves to him. He questions the man and asks who sent him to try and take his life. The man makes his peace with God. He's making his peace with God. As Bill yells and passes away, and is frustrated because he saved the man that took his father's life. Monk approaches him and instructs him to be careful with his plans. Bill goes to a brothel with Valen and his men and insults an African man. Some time passes, and Jenny pushes the woman beside Bill away. She tends to him, and Valen walks away. Jenny walks upstairs, and Valen follows her into her room. They begin to argue, but get attracted and begin kissing. They begin to make love, but Johnny watches and is jealous. Bill lies in his bed the following morning and is surrounded by several women. He goes to Valen's room. I 
can't sleep. He talks about how he uses fear to get what he wants and preserve the order of things. Bill talks about Priest and commends him for being the last honorable man he put to rest. He took a beating from Bill and cut out his own eye in shame. Bill gives Fallon his blessing and leaves the room. Jenny says Bill raised her like a father but didn't touch her until she asked for it. Fallon gets upset as he goes back to bed, and Jenny wonders who she really is. He practices throwing a dagger several times, and Monk watches him from his window. The Chinese perform a drama as they join the natives to celebrate defeating the dead rabbits. Johnny goes to Bill and tells him who Fallon truly is. Fallon prepares to take out Bill and arrives at the venue. He watches as Johnny rushes out of the building and sits on a table. A man welcomes Bill and asks him to perform a show of skill. Bill walks on the stage and terrifies the performers with his knife throwing. One more time for a sweet souvenir. And she agrees. She walks on the stage, and Bill accurately... <laughs> he terrifies the audience with his skill and injures Jenny's neck. Fallon tries to get to her, but several people block him. He decides to remain calm and prepares to throw his dagger at Bill while Bill makes a speech. A man suddenly drags Fallon's Chinese associate away, and he wonders what is going on. Bill prepares to drink from a cup in honor of Priest, and Valen throws the knife. Bill dodges the attack and strikes Valen with his weapon. Some men apprehend Valen, as Bill informs the people he is their enemy. They place Valen on a table, and Bill repeatedly strikes his face. The people instruct him to take Valen's life, but Bill refuses and says he doesn't deserve an easy end. He scars Valen's face using a hot knife, and Jenny struggles to break free and get to him. A doctor arrives in the tunnels and treats Valen's wounds. Jenny stays with him as he heals and tells him about her plans to travel to San Francisco. She shows him their travel route on a map and kisses him. Monk emerges and gives Fallon the razor he took from Priest's pocket. He holds onto them for safekeeping and leaves the tunnel. Fallon emerges and goes to the town square. Several people stare at him, and he places a deceased rabbit on a fence. Bill sits with Happy Jack, and they place the rabbit on the table. He instructs Jack to find the person who took the rabbit's life and prosecute them. He's indirectly passing a message and wants Happy Jack to get rid of any members of the dead rabbit gang. Happy Jack obeys his command and searches for Valen in the tunnels. He follows Valen to a construction site, and Valen ambushes him. Valen knocks him out and hangs his body in the middle of the town. Several people see it, and Tweed stands beside Bill as they see what Valen did. Valen works on the construction site, which is a church, and several members of the Dead Rabbit Gang emerge. They decide to stand with him against Bill, and Valen says they aren't afraid. Johnny confesses and says he told Bill his true identity. Valen is annoyed and instructs Johnny to leave the docks. Bill's men apprehend Johnny and take him to their leader. Johnny says he is a native, but Bill asks if he is willing to give his life for his country like a true native. Fallon runs to the town square and finds Johnny pinned to the fence. He is gravely injured and begs Fallon to end his life. Fallon cries as he pulls the trigger and Bill hears the gunshot. McGloin prays in church and Fallon meets him. He insults Jimmy for being in the church, but they attack him. McGloin sees the Reverend and tries to complain, but the Reverend attacks him. A mob of natives follows McGloin to the church, but sees several women and children around the building. The mob leaves, and the people around pray in the church. Several officers move through the town while conscripting people for the army. An argument erupts. Tweed and his assistant meet with Valen, asking him to help gather votes in the upcoming election. Valen agrees to help, but says an Irishman must become the sheriff. Tweed says they don't have an Irishman who can take the position, but Valen goes to Monk with a flyer. Monk agrees to run for sheriff. Could I say what I want? And the campaigns begin. Monk's team gathers more people during the rallies, which annoys Bill. Tweed is impressed by his speech and watches as the people are happy around him. 
the election day arrives, and both parties take to the streets to force people to vote. Fallon's team finds men who have voted, shaves their beards off, and sends them out to vote again. Tweed talks to his assistant, who says there are more votes than voters in the elections. Monk wins the sheriff's election. He sends a decapitated pig's head to Monk and wants to duel outside. Monk emerges from the building and says they should talk like civilized men. See if we can resolve our grievances the democratic way. He walks into the building as Bill follows and attacks him with his weapon. Bill picks up Monk's weapon as he falls to the ground and ends his life with it as the people around watch in shock. The news of Monk's passing reaches Tweed and he confronts Bill. Bill doesn't care and taps on his glass eye with his blade. He decides to continue eating as Tweed walks away. Fallon and the others walk during Monk's burial procession, and Bill spits on the ground as a form of insult. Fallon challenges Bill, and Bill happily accepts it. Fallon is accepted. A list of the men who went to war emerges, most of whom lost their lives. The gangs of the town gather and plan their challenge. Meanwhile, several men are drafted for war, but the people attack the building angrily. Jenny meets Fallon with her luggage in hand and says she has booked her trip to San Francisco. She says she cannot stay any longer because the city will burn and leave Fallon. Shermerhorn talks to Tweed about a rumor that the people against the draft will put candles up that night. He says the night will be dark. Very dark night. But ironically, everyone in the town places a lit candle on their window that night. Chaos breaks out the following morning as various people stand against the draft. Fallon and Bill prepare for battle as they pray while Shermerhorn prepares to eat with his family. Several people break into his house and attack him while he tries to defend his family using a gun. The gun is ineffective as the people overpower him and take him down. The rioters attack several places as they destroy the city, and Jenny tries to get to her ship. She is attacked by some people but successfully fights them off. Fallon and the Dead Rabbit Gang prepare for battle and reach the Five Points. Meanwhile, the military is deployed against the rioters, and they begin to take them down. The gang battle is about to commence, but they suddenly hear a strange noise. An explosion erupts beside them and they realize they're attacked by a Navy ship. Valen and Bill move through the smoke while attacking their enemies. They eventually meet themselves, but another explosion erupts. A metal shard injures Bill, but he tries to fight, and Valen ends him with a fatal attack. Jenny returns and finds Valen with Bill's remains. Later, several people are laid to rest after the tragic incident. Fallon and Jenny move through the city and find the bodies of some of their friends. They take Bill's body to the same cemetery as Priest and bury him beside his old rival. Time passes as the cemetery remains untouched and the world around it advances. And this is the end.